What's going on everybody? This is Castle Perfect and I'm bringing you episode number two of Smash the Amazing. And uh, my last episode and it was the first one and it was actually received pretty well. I didn't expect it to be received that well. I thank you guys very much for all the support, the likes on that video. Now remember if you support this series, it would be totally badass if you guys would just go ahead and click the like button down below this video. It helps out tremendously. It helps the it helps me, you know, see that you guys are interested and you guys want to see more of this. So that's why I am asking you very very kindly to click that like button down there but just like you guys said uh, or just like I requested you guys to do in my last and first episode if you guys wanted me to use something different I would do it gladly so I myself got a Venusaur which is gonna be my mega evolution though I'm gonna quickly or briefly go into the computer here because I was thinking of using slacking but then I was like nah that ability is really, really going to kick me in the butt at some point. So I was like, nah, I'm just gonna go back, search for that Suicune. Uh, because Suicune is absolutely a monster. It can take so many hits. It's unbelievable. So we're gonna go back to the Battle Mason. Or actually, we're in the Battle Mason right now. We're gonna try the Battle Mason Challenge Super Singles one more time. As you guys, uh, if you guys remember, we, were, we, we left off at streak number 10. And uh, so we're gonna be starting off by on streak 11, and um, hopefully things go the way that they are supposed to be. I am very curious to see just how this is gonna be uh, turning out to be. Uh, my English is very bad; I don't even know. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to start off the battle by using Sabdos. So uh, for this episode, I'm gonna be using Sabdos, Mega Venusaur, and uh, Suicune. And you guys might say, yeah, weakness, yeah, it's pretty covered, it's really not all that bad, actually. I miss speed, I know that much, but um, it really doesn't matter because I have such sturdy Pokemons that it, you know, it just pretty much compensates. It compensates. So, anyways, let me turn up the volume a little bit here so that the camera can pick it up. So this is gonna be the first round that we're gonna be battling for episode number two of Smash the Mason. So it's gonna be a Rising Star Tildy. Or tiled, or tildy, or tilde, or whatever. Uh, she's gonna start off using a Blastus, which is quite interesting. I do have the type advantage because I'm leading off with Sabdos, and this is a fully offensive Sabdos with Roost, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that Blastus for super effective damage with the Thunderbolt. It takes him out immediately, which is absolutely amazing. And I just moved the camera, damn it. Alright, there it goes, though. That looks better. Uh, okay, so the second Pokemon is gonna be an Explode. Um, I have no um, fighting type attacks, unfortunately, but I'm just gonna go for that stab Thunderbolt and see just how much damage that does. It is gonna do over half, it's gonna bring him down to like 10%, and uh, that Explode is gonna go for the Hyper Force. I don't think that's gonna kill me. Uh, by far, it doesn't. So I am going to go for another Thunderbolt and seal off the deal here. Down goes the Explode, and by the way, if you guys you guys might have noticed, I have the animation turned on for this episode, and I have changed the rules a little bit, slightly. I'm gonna be doing five battles with the animation turned on each for each episode, so that way the you know the series is a little bit longer, and um, not to mention that it will be more exciting because you have the uh, animations turned on, and um, that way you can see the full potential of the game, obviously. So we're gonna. I'm gonna bring out Phenosaur here because this Ambipon just killed me with a fake out, unfortunately. Uh, but Phenosaur will absolutely be more than sufficient to take this thing down. So I'm just gonna go for the Sludge Bomb here and, uh, you know, get rid of that thing. Should have gone for the, you know, Giga, Giga Drain just to recover the HP, but I don't think it matters because I think that it's gonna die anyway to a Sludge Bomb. It's gonna fling me the King's Rock. Okay. That's really... Is that a critical hit? Wow, that is just absurdly... Uh, that's that's absurd damage. Like, really? It, it did like 5 damage. That's ridiculous. That is just how beast Venusaur is. And thank you very much for the recommendation. That's why I'm using a Venusaur in this episode. Because you guys requested it. And I don't quite remember specifically which guy uh, told me to, to use it. But um, thank you very much. And um, yeah, if it was you, you know, just put down a comment down in the section below, down below this video, and uh, I'll, like, I'll, I'll like up your comments. So, three battle points. The battle points are actually rising, which is great. 
We're gonna go and battle uh, trainer number 12, which is great. I didn't choose to be born a woman, okay? I didn't choose to grow up and be beautiful. Okay, so what's your problem then? What, what, what's your point? What, what is your point? We're gonna have a Pokemon battle here. It doesn't matter if you're a woman, or a man, or a transgender, or a child, or a grown-up, it doesn't matter. I'm just still gonna beat your ass and that's what I'm gonna do. So she is going to start off with Blissey and now you guys can pretty much take a look at what's happening here. They are starting to uh, counter my team with uh, perfect counters to my lead Pokemon, which is gonna be Zapdos. Um, obviously I have three special attackers, which I just noticed. My god, that's really bad. I just noticed that. Uh, but I don't think we are in trouble actually, because I'm gonna lead see this Blissey and uh, I'm basically gonna recover all the HP back. Because Blissey has a lot of HP and we, we guys, we all know that. And Battle Mason is starting to freaking hack me. Special defense drop right there, pretty much sucks. But I'm gonna go for the lead seed, and uh, that's what's going to happen. Mega Venusaur coming in right there with a big flower on its forehead and a big ass, I don't know, plant on its back. It's freaking, it, it, it's, it's for real a dinosaur this time. So I'm gonna lead seed that thing, it's gonna thunder wave me, it does not matter. Uh, I'm actually going to go back into Sweek. No, wait, then it's gonna paralyze me. I might as well just stay in here and prolong the battle a little bit. The thing is, I just don't want to use Chesto Berry, I don't want to be paralyzed in Suicune. Uh, I want to go for the Sheer Gold, but um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna see how much Sludge Bomb actually does to this Blizzy, and uh, we'll quickly find out what I'm gonna do next. Uh, so the Blizzy is gonna go for the Shadow Ball, it still doesn't do that much damage, but it's doing sufficient damage to the point where Hex is going to be kicking me in the butt, uh, because I'm gonna be paralyzed, and uh, Lead City is gonna recover a little bit of my uh, HP, which is absolutely... Wow, I recover so much, that's crazy. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go for another Sludge Bomb, because I really, really want to find out how much damage I can get off this Blizzy with that Sludge Bomb. Uh, this is, by the way, a Max Special Attack Venusaur, so it is supposed to do a little bit. Yes, it does a pretty decent chunk, and uh, the Lead City is really racking up on the Blizzy, and... Um, it's, it's quite, it's quite, you know, it's quite predictable that this Blizzy has access to Soft Boiled. I'm not sure if she's gonna use it, but um, we'll find out. I'm, I'm still gonna stay in, just gonna go for the Sludge Bomb. She's continuously spamming those Shadow Ball, hoping for that special defense drop, for the secondary special defense drop. And there, I get paralyzed again, unfortunately, but on the lead seed, it is once again gonna recover my HP back up, which is absolutely outstanding. This is great. Oh, everything turned blue. Alright, so that's better. Okay, so I'm gonna go for another Sludge Bomb here. Hopefully, I get a crit or something because I truly deserve that. Because facing blizzes like this is really unfortunate. So she's gonna get the secondary or the second special defense drop. And of course, Battle Mason being at its, at its best. Freaking hexing me to death. Paralyzed again. Damn it. Uh, that sucks. Um, I'm actually going to go out into Suicune, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go out into Suicune, get a, uh, you know, sponge that Shadow Ball. And uh, what the hell just happened? The Custa Berry. Wow, really? It doesn't matter, please. You're gonna die anyway. Um, the Lead City is gonna be doing sufficient damage to the point where a Scold will definitely finish off the Blizz. That shiny Suicune. Oh my good lord. It's so beautiful. It's freaking beautiful, I tell you. Alright, so Shadow Ball is gonna do quite a bit of damage, and uh, yeah, that's 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 okay. That's okay, I guess. Alright, um, gonna go for that Skull here just to finish off the deal, and man, this took a while to take down this Blizzy. Now, that's the problem when you're running an entire team full of special attackers, instead of having a physical attacker somewhere. Uh, but I don't think that's gonna really bite me in the ass, because Blizzy is quite frankly the highest and most problematic wall to special attackers and I just got rid of it so really it's really not all that it's, it's, really, it's not really a big deal let's say that I'm gonna go for the sheer cold here hopefully I hit unfortunately it's a, it afforded the attack the stupid Sylveon is gonna go for the moon blast and uh, yeah that's gonna do are you freaking serious special attack drop this freaking battle mason is starting to hacks me I tell you guys hacks is really serious in this game and it is gonna baton pass to basically something that is gonna be you know, able to get that um, sheer cold or not. It's gonna be a buffalant. Well, whatever. 
Uh, well, whatever. Indeed. I'm gonna go for another Sheer Cold. Hopefully, I hit this time. Yes, I hit the Sheer Cold. And down goes the Buffalant. Um, I hope it doesn't have the focus set. It doesn't. It's a one-hit KO move. And down goes the Buffalant, which is great. This is so sexy. And now, back comes... Back in comes the Sylveon, and it is gonna get a Sheer Cold to death. And I hit again! That is great. That, that's that's amazing. Good job there, Suicune. Good job there. Good job there, buddy. So, Sylveon goes down, and that is going to be the second trainer that we beat. Uh, appearing badly and disappearing again. It's not like I was born to just to play this bit part. What what are you saying? So, you want to be a bigger... You, you want to have a bigger impact in this game? I'm sorry, you were just not programmed to do that. You have to blame Nintendo for that, not me. Alright, so, battle number 13. Let's go. Uh, you wanna fight me? Do you know how... How... Oh, no, wait. <laughs> do you know I come from a long line of punks, right? You've got guts, at, li at least. Uh, you're an ugly hoe. I'm gonna kick your butt. That's what I'm gonna do. Punk girl Ariel is gonna send out a Mandibus. How sweet it is to defeat a Mandibus with a freaking Sabdos. Yep, that's gonna be sweet. So, Thunderbolt, down goes the thing most likely, and oh no, wait, it has the berry. It has that berry that lowers super effective damage, or what can berry that lowers like super effective electric type damage, and that is bullshit. That's what I'm saying, ladies and gents. Battle Mason gets real after a while. The thing, you know, the, the entire tower is a bullshit place. They hack you to death. Like, who? Who runs Mandibus with that berry? Like, really? Are you really so desperate to beat me that you're specifically picking out Pokemon that are specifically perfect to counter my lead? It doesn't it doesn't make sense, but okay. I'm gonna start I'm gonna stop bitching about it because it is the game and we all know that Battle Mason does that, but it is just kind of funny to point that out at some point. At some point in time. So in comes the wheezing. Uh, really weak on the special defense side, so I'm just gonna go for another Thunderbolt, and that is gonna bring him down to red health. Um, it's gonna die to the second um, uh, Thunderbolt. It's gonna go for the Pain Split, though. Absolutely predicting my Thunderbolt. Really good play there. Uh, but it's really not gonna save you, though. Uh, I'm gonna die, I think, on the next turn, but it doesn't matter, because I don't think I'm gonna be needing Sabdos. And in before, I need Sabdos for the last Pokemon. So down goes the Weezing. Uh, fair trade, I think I'm gonna go down to the toxic damage, or not. No, wait, that was life for recoil. So I'm gonna go down to the stupid poison, and uh, I'm gonna lose Abdos here, but it doesn't matter, because um, it's it's like... It's Venusaur, Mega Venusaur versus whatever this uh, girl is about to throw out. So that's gonna be a file plume. Hey, that's a big flower. I am going to Mega Evolve, and I'm gonna go for the Sludge Bomb. I really, I don't care about it. And like I said, in before I needed Sabdos. Because File Plume is super effective against Suicune. And if Inasaur somehow manages to fail me and not take down this File Plume, then I'm gonna be in a world of trouble. So Teeter Dance is gonna confuse me. Wow, look at that. Finasaur spinning. Haven't seen that move in action in the 60th generation. That's the first time. And I'm confused. And in before I hit myself. Hey, that's first turn. Don't worry, guys. I will be hitting myself more often than you'll imagine. I'll be hitting myself until I fully recover from the confusion. Because that's how the Battle Mason works. So there goes the Sludge Bomb, or not. I'm gonna hit myself. Oh, wait, I hit! It's a miracle. It's a freaking miracle. Sludge Bomb goes down, it goes for the Teeter Dance, and it's really trying to freaking hack me. But um, it's not working, I guess. Uh, it's 50-50 chance. I hit again! Luck is on my side today. Battle Mason is not really getting that lucky this time. Down goes the File Plume, and that's gonna be the third trainer that I defeat for this series. <laughs> I regret nothing. I was It was a fight worth my family's honor. Really? I just beat your ass badly. So it wasn't really worth your family's honor. It, it, it just wasn't. I'm sorry. So Christopher receives a three battle points once again. I'm receiving so many battle points, it's actually really, really sweet. So in comes the next trainer. This isn't a an uniform. It's just what I like to wear. I made it myself. Wow, good stuff. Good stuff, girl. You go, girl. Alright, so we're battling Maid Joel. 
It's funny because I have a classmate that has the same name. Alright, in comes this crafty, uh, which reminds me of somebody. Um, Alright. I'm thinking of switching out, but the thing is, um, Scrafty can basically be anything. And seeing as how Battle Mason still is continuously sends out something that counters my lead, I'm gonna guess that he's gonna go for the Stone Edge, maybe an Ice Punch, or something super effective, I don't know. I'm just gonna switch out into Suicune and see what happens. Uh, the Shiny Suicune coming through, everybody step aside, please. Pressuring this guy, so he's gonna go for the Fake Out. Okay, well that's fine too. I'm gonna sheer cold you. I like sheer cold, really. I avoid it. Oh shit. Oh, this is a focus punching Scrafty, I think. Yep, it's a. <laughs> okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. I'm just gonna go for the skull here to break the substitute. I should have gone for the skull in the first place, but okay. I guess everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. So, focus punch right to the freaking belly. Suicune takes that like a monster, because Suicune is a monster. So, I'm gonna go for another Skull here, trying to fish for the burn. Get the burn. Don't get the burn, unfortunately. It's gonna set up another sub, and that is going to be... Oh, shit. It's gonna be a Lychee Berry, so attack Rose. Attack Rose, okay, okay, attack Rose. Um, You know what? I'm actually just going to go for a Skull. I was thinking about going for Rest, but... Yeah, I need to break the sub first. And I don't think I'm gonna be dying to the next focus punch, seeing as how the first one did so little damage. Even at plus one, I don't think it will be able to take me down from this range at least. That's what I'm actually predicting. I might be wrong though. I might get a critical hit. Oh my god, it actually takes me out. Wow, that's crazy. That That's nuts. Okay, so I lost my biggest wall right there yeah, that sucks or my tank whatever you want to call it um Sabdos coming out thunderbolt that thing yeah goodbye sir you're not gonna get that focus punch off um down goes the scrafty and uh yep we're even it's uh two versus two and i get nervous when these kind of things happen because i don't like to be even it's not my style oh in comes a abama snow it's gonna set up the freaking hail and um, I have a little surprise for you, Abomas, Snow. I just hope I don't miss because that would suck. Heat wave. Yep. Four times super effective. That is going to bring down the Aboma Snow to zero HP. Down goes the Aboma Snow. And I just hope it. I hope this trainer doesn't have a Glacian or something as last Pokemon because that would suck. Evasion rises in the freaking hell. But it's going to be a Machamp. It's all cool and dandy. I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt and do as much damage as I possibly can. I just hope this is not a no guard dynamic puncher. Because if it's faster than Venusaur, then the hacks is gonna be real. Oh my god, it is what I anticipated. But uh, it missed. What? It misses. So it's actually running dynamic punch without no guard? Well, okay. Good job there, Battle Mason. Good job. You are a total moron. So Thunderbolt is gonna take down the Machamp. Absolutely beast. And, um. Uh, yeah, we're up against the last trainer for this episode. And remember, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, you enjoyed this series, it's always, you're always welcome to click that like button down there because it really helps out tremendously. And it just lets me know that you guys care, that you guys want more, you know? That's the stuff, that's the stuff. All right, three battle points again. Um, next battle, number 15. Would you like to keep battling? Yes, one more, sir. Or girl, sorry. Um, all right, so this is the last one. You, you. How can this be? It is like seeing my former master alive in flash again. Did your master die? Oh yeah, you're old, so I guess, yeah, he passed away, I'm sorry. So, Butler Joshua is gonna bring out a Lucario. We're talking about overuse stuff here, let's go. Heat wave is gonna be super effective against this thing, so I'm just gonna go for the heat wave in before I miss. Uh, I don't miss. The heat wave is gonna hit the... Um, Lucario, Lucario is going to go down in one hit. Really interesting. No Focus Sash there. Absolute beast. Sabdos is really doing, putting up some work here. Excadrill is going to come in. And I'm just going to go for another Heat Wave because that's super effective against the Excadrill. Let's go. Whoop. Heat Wave, super effective. Down goes the Excadrill. So much power emanating from Sabdos. That beast. 
Establish your greats, man. Thunderbird, let's go. So, we've all come sin. Okay. I see what you did there. No fake out, please. I don't like fake out. I'm gonna go for another heat wave because that's super effective. And it's actually going to go for the fling. It's gonna fling the Razor Fang. I don't know what's gonna do. It is going to. Okay, so it's gonna flinch me. Alright, fine. It's okay. It's gonna taunt me. I am not. I was not planning on going for Roost, but okay. I'm gonna go for another heat wave. That's gonna be super effective, and I just hope this one does not have the focus sash. That is going to be a victory. Five battles in a row. We are at streak 15, guys. Once again, I'm gonna end this video right very now. But before that, thank you very much for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And other than that, guys, I'll see you guys in episode numero tres. Thank you.